What is up, YouTube and all of Exposed Gaming's followers? Today, we bring you Exposed After Dark podcast number nine. And with us today, you obviously have myself, Mr. Burnsy, and we have the two usuals that are always on here too, Mr. Chris and Steve Brand. What's up, y'all? What's up, guys? That was so much emphasis on that. What's <laughs> up, yeah? <laughs> He's excited to start this podcast, man, like always. Every Hell week. yeah, man. I'm excited, dude. You know, it's, it's always a good time. To sit. This is like, honestly, my favorite day of the week now. Honestly, it is. I look forward to these podcasts every single week. I, I thoroughly enjoy them. I, like, so, I literally, I always tell my boys, like, if we're, they'll hit me up for Fortnite or something, I'll be like, I can't. Got my podcast at night, and then I'm not sure what time we'll be on afterwards. I had, like, I had plans, like, after work today, and... They want they wanted me to go out to like the bar to watch the uh, Yankee postseason the wild card game. I was like, nah, man, I got my podcast. I can't. How would do you it. ever do that in the first place? I ah, just hanging out, the bar, drink. Just, yeah, he did. I, I know I could root against them, but I was like, nah, I got my podcast. Can't do it. Yeah, dude, we always have a good time. But uh, yeah, all right, getting right into it, boys. So the first thing we're bringing up, obviously, now it's it's October, so. Uh, what me and Steve actually were talking about for a while, we're actually going to make some exposed gaming breast cancer awareness t-shirts. And they will be available to sell, to uh, to, to purchase. Uh, we're going to be making an exposed gaming Instagram. You can get the first look of the t-shirts on the gram. So be sure to check that out. And we're going to try and find a I'm site. Pumped. Hell, dude, they're going to look so dope. It's going to look so like, nice. I definitely want to try and find a site that like proceeds or something can actually like go to the cause and everything so we exactly. just have to like look at that but uh yeah dude we have a couple ideas so i think those are gonna do i mean they're literally exposed colors so i think that's gonna be look pretty dope yeah, uh, i mean the, the pink that we have is literally the breast cancer pink pretty much yeah so it's, the it's hot great. pink yeah it's gonna be nice and it's gonna look so dope with because uh, the way i have it envisioned is it's gonna be our emblem Kind of like what we have for the sweatshirt, but like the the new updated emblem for Expose. Uh, at this point, it's pretty much three point oh, and um, I, I I envision that breast cancer ribbon around the actual emblem, like it's kind of like intertwined type of thing. But yeah, we'll there's a lot the of options. options. Yeah, there's a lot of options that we can do. Ideally, I mean, I'm gonna think the absolute. Obviously, we're gonna work on that stuff today, and hopefully, get it finished. But no later than I'd say probably by next Wednesday have it finished. Well, I want to have orders and stuff by next Wednesday. Yeah, it's going to take probably two weeks. So you figure if we get it on the 10th at most, we should still have it like with a couple weeks left in October. Yeah. And if anything, I could express order it a little bit. So we, at least we can wear them during breast cancer mm-hmm. awareness. And I'm going to see y'all again, or you're going to see me in a couple weeks. So you will drop that off. Yeah, exactly, man. It's going to be good. It's going to look nice. It's going to look nice and fresh. I'm excited. Nah, for it. Yeah, I'm excited too. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Obviously, like you said, we'll post that. So if anyone is listening that does want the shirt, you will be available to get a piece of exposed merch. Mm-hmm. And along with that, we're going to have the sweatshirts that we have right now as exposed gaming will also be on Instagram for available for purchase. There's going to be a lot of mer- new merch that we're going to be producing uh, throughout the weeks. So be sure to look at the gram, check it out. They were offering the, the I think I think we should leave the first sweatshirt as like an OG. Yeah, was, you also changed up the exposed logo. So well, we gonna... never. Nah, I mean that like emblem is still the same. It's but uh, I know what you're saying. I think the the original we'll be, exposed thought, sweatshirts. I think we should keep them keep, OG. Uh, all right, all right. I feel you, but that XG did change. So technically, they are a vintage. We yeah. don't use that. We don't use that XG uh, emblem anymore. So we gotta just leave that. Leave that for the the select few that actually copped them. How many people got them? Uh, six, seven? Seven, six, seven, something like that. It was me, you, Chris, uh, Daly, um, Mikey. Mikey got Mikey one. Drew. Mike Andrew got one. Did Kyle, get, Kyle I don't think got no, one. Kyle, I don't no, think. Did, Kyle did, didn't get one. Did, did uh, Sack get one? Yeah. Sack got us uh, a hoodie? Right. Yeah. I think that was it, to be honest with you. Legends, I you. baby. I don't think it was anyone else. They had that vintage OG uh, hoodie then. For sure, dude. Damn, that's crazy to think about. I can't wait to look back and... Be two like, three years. That was our first game. Yeah. we're about to have this huge mer- mer- merch store coming up, and uh, that's gonna, gonna be, be like the OG, dude. Damn, that, that could be like a 
a 20th anniversary type redrop, dude. Yes. When, when we blow up. Yes. So, in, in everyone look out for 2026. <laughs> July, July 2026. We're going to redrop the, the vintage XG hoodies. Oof. That's going to be cool. That would be pretty dope, dude. And you say 2026 because now people are saying, yo, it's 2018. How is that 20 years from now? You say... T- to give them the reason, and you say 2026 because yeah, I mean, it's 2006, we, six yeah. started. <laughs> Just so people aren't thinking that you're an idiot for your math right now. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it's going to be the 20 an- 20th year anniversary of Exposed. There you go. It's going to be, that's going to be dope. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Like you said, we'll have that out. But getting on to more gaming topics, obviously you guys know what's coming out soon. Call of Duty, baby. Call of Duty. I'm so so excited, dude. So I cannot hyped. wait. Can't wait for Blackout, honestly. That was so much fun. I'm more excited for the competitive scene and just having a Same. cloud I can pub again and, and like just can play competitive. Like Obviously, Blackout for, uh, Black, uh, Black Ops 4 <laughs> is going to be good with Blackout. But You know what's nuts, dude? I'm not hyped. I was looking... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. But no, it's all good. It, we, uh, I was looking back at our old videos on Exposed... Uh, like your our, like frag videos. Do you remember what you called our first uh, BO3 frag video? Um, the first one was uh, blackout. Was it? Yeah, dude. Yes. I just thought that was funny. Like you called it blackout for like the original OG. They probably, I mean, they, they probably looked up your video and was like, "Wow, that's a pretty great name." So let's just take that. You know? Yeah, we should sue them, dude. <laughs> it's yeah, it's literally was. It's, black Ops uh, Three was the first Black Ops Three uh, frag video, or as blackout, some people don't dude. know what a frag video is, it's like a montage. We're old school when we call it frag videos. I know some of our listeners don't know what that is, but. Um, yeah, the first Black Ops 3 Ma frag video is called Blackout. That is insane. I never even thought of that. Yeah, I was looking at some old videos. I definitely want to push out. I want to. That's another thing for COD. We're definitely going to be pushing out. Like a, a, I want to ideally get like one of those a month, dude. A montage? Get a montage of like all of us for at least dude, like I'm one down. a month. Yeah, if you... I Hopefully, the thing is, I couldn't do that with like Modern Warfare Remastered or... World, well, War II. Well, World War Two wasn't going to happen. Remastered, it, it, it no, sucked. No, 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 yeah. But remaster, I couldn't do it because they, the theater mode in World War Two wasn't the theater mode like in Black Ops Three. Like in Black mm-hmm. Ops Three, if you were on my friends list, I can go into theater mode and I could, if you played a game, I could go into that game that you played, and I wouldn't have, I didn't even have to be in there. Like you could be playing like at three o'clock in the morning and, and text me and be like, "Hey, Steve, uh, go to this game at this time at the in this game." Like I hit this nice shot. I could go on when I wake up the next day, and I could be at work all day and come on at night and just go to your name and find that match that you played, and yeah. I could, and I could watch I didn't it. Know you could do that, dude. That's how. Oh I yeah, ma- that's how I, Black Ops Three was fired. That's how I was able to make those team montages because. Everyone just texted me, hey, I did this in this game, and I just went to that game, and I was able to see it. I didn't have to be in the game. I didn't even have to be awake. Because Black Ops 3 Theater Mode just allowed every single person, as long as you were friends, to watch those. Like, it was like the past like 50 games, I'm pretty sure. Exactly. Right. And even though World War II sucked, dude, the competitive being partnered with game battles was huge, dude. That MLG connection that made it great. so easy that to was go the best lobby. Thing, that was the best thing that they did, and I hope I Black really Ops hope 4 that, does yeah, that, too. I really hope it's as simple as that, which I imagine they probably will. But World War II's theater mode wasn't even like a theater mode. You couldn't even spectate, watch your own games again in theater mode in World War II. I mean, yeah. I'm, honestly, I'm going to probably get pretty impulsive this weekend and just buy a capture card, so uh, I'll just be able to send you my clips in general. You could, yeah. But you just got, you're gonna have to get into the habit of just recording every single moment that you're playing, like I do. And whenever you hit a clip, just stop recording. That's what I do. If I hit a clip, I just stop recording and I start recording again, so I know at the end of that certain video is where the uh, clip is I need, and I can just delete the rest. It's a very quick process. Yeah, honestly, I, I probably will just buy one this weekend. It's they're not too much. I'm pretty sure at Elgato is like 150 now. I'm not exactly sure. Did I even price. use my Elgato, dude. It's like 180, but I get a discount on it, so... The thing I don't like with the Elgato is that you don't get the surround sound hearing uh, when you use the Elgato. You just get fucking stereotype hearing, so it's just left and right. That's not true, because I get all... Dude, yeah, because... I get I can hear, like, back left, I hear it all around. It's not just left and right for me when I'm using my Elgato. I th- I'm still convinced that you set it up wrong, and I just haven't figured out what you did wrong yet with it. 
Yeah, like when I don't use the Elgato, which I haven't been using, I feel like I hear everything. It's like the seven, what number, seven point one or whatever. I, I, you know, I have, I see no difference when I use my Elgato. But okay, well, my gameplay is just completely different. But it, so. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's gonna it's gonna be. I mean, I don't even know what else other than the Elgato would you could you what other capture cards? Dude, you don't even need. You, te- you, you can technically need it, dude. You, you can technically just use any any capture card. Bro, you, and, and just you use can the just software. stream right through the freaking PS4. No, well, yeah, I mean, but you can't. You can't you, do effects. You can't do like. Oh, yeah, you can't do, that, can't do yeah. any yeah. effects if you're doing that. And then you also just can't record. How am I supposed to get a clip from you if you can't record? Can you still webcam? Yeah, you can put a webcam. With what? PS4. So PS4, yeah. You'd have to c- connect the webcam yeah, to PS4, connect though. Yeah, yeah, connect to USB. Oh. Dude, my friend Jeff does it. He has, dude, he has nothing. He just has a webcam, and he just puts the webcam on. People get, like, the notification that he goes on, like, normal streamer, and he just has a webcam. There's no, like, yeah, there's no, like, donation or, like, anything like that, but, I mean, we don't get donations anyway yet, so, like, does it, it's just to maybe, get your name out there. Yeah, maybe I could start doing that, and then I could move into getting the Elgato. Well, I have the Elgato just for recording purposes. I didn't get the Elgato to stream. I guess I'm, it'll honestly it'll come down. Maybe I'll wait and then it'll come down to how the theater mode is in that game. Whole, well, if it's if it's any if I mean I'm confident that the theater mode is going to be like Black Ops Three. I mean, it's yeah, I imagine so, yeah. it's, it's going to be the same developer. So I'm pretty confident that we're going to have that type of theater mode. Which means if we all have a lot of active players constantly getting like clips, that we can actually pump out like a exposed frag video like pretty much every single month. Which is gonna be really cool. Yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna be cool. Um, I definitely want to expand the the team. Mm-hmm. Want to get obviously? I mean, we have like a good amount of like people that we play with and stuff. But Mike, Mike me and Mike are like really excited for like Black on Zombies. We're gonna, well, we're gonna, should we just make the announcement now about congrats to expose Mikey for being the fifth in the competitive team? Well, that's if I. It, honestly, it comes down to if Dally even wants to play. Yeah, dude, John's so bad. He hates GBs. Like, so you guys saying like he's so, like. Uh, so I, I talked to him. He said he, he wanted... You're lagging. You're okay. lagging so hard. It's fine. I'm not lagging. But uh, <laughs> if we start doing, no, I talked to Dally, and like, if we're good enough that we can do wagers, I know he'll play if he likes the game and wants to play. Like, obviously, Dally, if he want, he's it. Like, he's obviously starting if. If if he wants to play, he's obviously in. It's just mm-hmm. a matter of if he wants to play, uh, and obviously he he has the time to. So Mikey would be the fifth, but if Daly doesn't, we Mikey would Dev. be the fourth, and we would yeah we would need a fifth then. I don't know who who else is getting it. Other I know Dev's definitely getting it. He Marsak said he's is down. getting it. Marsak is getting it. Okay, yeah, all right, that's another one. Because I know well, I know Dev definitely said he's down for wagers. So uh, once we actually get good, I definitely want to do wagers with us. Obviously, I mean put like. A dollar or two wager up and can't wait to lose fucking money <laughs> nah if we lose I- i'm thinking like if we go on like if we do a dollar wager and we lose like five in a row i'm just gonna stop yeah so I-, I don't mind losing five dollars for like three hours of like game yeah <laughs> it's not bad the only other difference between uh what we normally do it now is i 100 percent want to practice like um hard point type game modes and everything capture the flag because we're obviously like search. I'm not worried about us in search. No, we're but we can we, actually, a, we can hold our own in search. We need to uh, practice the other game modes. I remember what's all we we're pretty, and, we're pretty booty at the other ones, man. I remember when we actually tried to do like CS:GO like competitive. We how we try like did grenades, uh, grenade tosses and everything. Oh my like, god, me and Burns. Oh yeah, me and Burns dude. were in, like a private server for like three hours, just like pra- throwing grenades oh, no, dude, my, and just seeing where they would land. My nades in every game are just fire, dude. Yeah, I still remember my Mirage nades, dude. Like I know how to yeah. set nades, like to get it into like. Oh I would always, God. I would always throw an arch, and you would always go like bomb side usually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, should, that's we actually should play, fun, we should dude. play CS:GO again. Well, dude, yeah. like I remember, like yeah. even COD, dude, like COD one, and even even COD oh God, four COD specifically. One. Yeah. COD four on the PC, I remember like. Well, obviously, I had a, I bought a server for us, so like we would practice those nades all the time, dude. Well, but you guys remember me, like even in COD, like on PS4, dude, I would just throw like a nade. That like I thought was gonna be fire, and it would just hit, dude. Like my nades were just always on point in that game. Well, yeah, no, I like nothing will, nades in PS4. Well, I nothing, mean, on nothing ever compares to uh, nade training in COD4. It was like for those who don't know, like the pro mod was amazing. Like you would throw a grenade in COD4 with this game type that the mod, and like your entire body would be would fly with the grenade, so you could see exactly where the grenade landed. It was amazing. Yeah, dude. It made it so easy to, like, obviously see. And, you, like, you could reset it right away if you messed up the nade. But, like, we used to have so many strats. Like, I noticed now, like, I definitely want to start utilizing, 
like smokes and stuff because I, I know we don't really utilize like yeah, smokes. Yeah, we need to start using those. I feel like our smoke tries to say, "Hey, Steve, go plant. I'm gonna smoke you out." And he yeah, just, like, plant yeah. Stuff. I think I, I, I know when specifically in Modern Warfare Remastered, I was usually the only one that would have like a smoke class. No, and... John normally had one. Uh, did he? Yeah. John I usually I usually had, had a smoke class with a uh, assault rifle. If I had an SMG, there was never a chance I had a smoke on it. I'll be honest. I'm bringing a nade every time. That's fine. I mean, it, obviously, I, I think I. I when we get into it, I think I'm going to play objectives, so like search and stuff. I'm going to be like bomb carrier and like every play. And then, uh, yeah, we just got to figure out who's going to be like our ARs and who's going to be the guy that just goes around the map and goes straight kills. Uh, if we have our the five that we're thinking, if it would be you and Daly with a sub, I would take me, Chris, and Mikey with an AR. I mean, if Chris wants to snipe, like getting a deep, good sniper would not be a bad option this year. No, absolutely not. No, not not as not as in like absolutely not. Don't take a sniper, like absolutely not. Nah, it would, yeah, it would nah, be a good option to to do it. So but, that um, could definitely work out if yeah. you uh, if you really want to play sniper. We got to see what the guns are like and see yeah. what it's going to be like because who knows? Maybe it's not even going to be like. Maybe it's honestly going to be like three subs in AR and a sniper. Yeah, we don't know what the. the I imagine we'll still the, probably the regardless go two two one, mm -hmm. but. It really depends, and then yeah, dude. Oh, dude, I'm ready to like. I'm a strat that hard. Like, it's gonna be going into like a private lobby and just like literally planning out strats. Yeah, like I told you. I mean, I've said this. I said it already. Like, we're definitely like. I'm definitely taking these like wagers serious. I want to definitely run I wanna, some. I don't want to lose money, man. Yeah. And like, so I guess yeah, that. Oh, dude, I'm that's, so excited. That, dude, that's what I'm really excited for Black Ops Four though the most because the amount of YouTube content I'm gonna be able to get out of it because I'm gonna be able to. do a wager series, our usual Road to 100 series, which is the 2v2, and then the regular GBs where, like, it's 5-on-5. Five five. I'm going to have, like, three I, different Black Ops 4 series. I think you and me are going to get to actually finish the Road to 100. To be honest with you, I think we will. I mean, we're pretty close in Black Ops 3, dude, right? We were we, probably at, what, we were, close, like, we, 60, we were 70 or something? Out. Yeah, we... Black Ops 3 was definitely the longest we played because we had that. We had almost 70 wins in the Road to 100. We had... We, we were close to 100 total wins throughout all four seasons with the actual team and we had a positive win record mm -hmm. i mean yeah look at it obviously like we played the game before but the last time we actually put time and effort into a competitive cod was modern warfare remastered and we were obviously we that was the out. best we ever did yeah that was definitely the best game we played 100 percent. shout out to the old men of optic you lost to expose gaming <laughs> that was such a hype night dude that was so <laughs> awesome but uh, yeah, I mean, you got COD coming out, which we're definitely going to talk way more about COD next week, like because mm -hmm. it's going to be the day before be it comes it. out. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I know a lot of people are excited for Red Dead Redemption. Uh, personally, I'm. I mean, I don't really care either way. I haven't really done a whole lot on it, so I'm not sure how much you guys have really yeah. paid attention me, to it. Me and Chris played Red Dead Redemption One. I know we, me and Chris played a few games online. Ah. Red Dead Redemption One was probably one of the greatest storylines i think i've ever played in my life i don't know if you how, how many how much of the storyline you played chris i'll be honest i hated the game did you really i, was, I did not like it you didn't like, like red dead redemption one i don't know i don't like solo player games unless it's mario okay i, I could I, I i could respect it because mario's a great great game Bro, but... i honestly just can't play any solo player game. i need like the pvp i need like the grind like i need like the <laughs> ranking system like if it doesn't have a ranking system i just need like I can't play by myself, dude. I just can't do it unless it's like Mario part, like not Mario part, but like Mario. Oh, uh. Dude, Red Dead Redemption was one of the best solo like campaign, whatever you want to call it, storylines I think I've ever played in my life. And I mean, the online was pretty cool with the whole free roam, but uh, it, it wasn't anything special. I barely played anything online. I didn't like any of the game types. I didn't really like the way multiplayer felt on Red Dead Redemption. But the whole camp, I'm excited to play the campaign and the second one. The graphics look out of this world amazing the the storyline looks great and what they said is red dead redemption 2 online is going to be like gta 5 online i remember gta 5 online that was Dude, was gta 5 online first of all is great and now they're going to do it red dead Red like Dude, I wild wild west style mode, like defend oh the, my god what was that defend against like that was fun. Oh, and uh, GTA Five. The um, yeah. it wasn't a zombie mode, but it was uh, the constant waves of people. I know exactly yes. what you're talking about. That thing. That was. That fun. was so much fun. Oh, those were great times. It was hard too. It was hard, 
And Red Dead Redemption 2 on, apparently, online apparently is going to be like that. And I feel like if we had enough people together and, like, had a full, like, party and we, like, just went on Red Dead Redemption 2 online if everyone had it, I feel like the, the, the content we could produce would be hilarious. I feel like it would be great things. I, I feel like we would have a fun time. It would be, like, something that we could do that wasn't COD, like, if we were getting frustrated with COD. Mm -hmm. Or something different that we could play because I mean you play the same game over and over and over again. It, even though COD, we 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 did that with COD, you, I, how do I say it? You you uh, you play something too much and you start sucking at it. If that makes sense. Yeah, but then you need to take a break. You have to. You That's have to take a leave, break. Dude. Yeah, you have to take a break. That's how I felt with CS:GO. Like I took a break from CS:GO for a week after just being trash, and then. I think a week you come back and then like, cause I feel like I have to stop playing too aggressive because I get bored, so I just try and like, I don't know. Yeah, but I understand just, take the, the take. You the gotta break take thing. the break. I do that with League all You the gotta time. take the break. I mean, it's it's not gonna be a long break because obviously I don't wanna. You take too long of a break, you you start losing it just a little bit. You lose that slight touch that you mm -hmm. gained. But I think I Red Dead Fortnite. Redemption. You can't take it too much, too long of a break. No, Fortnite. you can't do it. I do. Where who plays like once every three weeks. <laughs> but um i think if we all had red dead redemption 2 the online we would have a great time and i think the content we would be able to produce would be absolutely incredible and i i have a feeling no, no i'm going to be one of the only people i think i know andrew's Dude, my, getting it. all my friends are getting it. kyle's getting it matt's getting it. all my friends are getting it uh so it, we, i could have a good time with them it's it would yeah. be it would be really fun but it's uh starting cod season though so that's why it's kind of hard that's why I, I, know, I don't want to get i know it's, it's so conflicting because I really want to just play COD, but when Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out, I'm going to want to play both. Like, I'm conflicted right now, but, like, I'm trying to beat the um, Spider-Man before COD comes out. And I easily could have beat the entire game already, but I want to get 100% completion on Spider-Man. So I'm doing, like, all the side missions, all the bonus things, and I'm barely doing the main, main like, storyline. And first of all, Spider-Man, it it's incredible. It's a great game so far, but that's... That, I'm, I'm like rushing myself now to finish that before COD. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you definitely got to give me your uh, PS4 account info so I can play. <laughs> we're good, we're good. But uh, moving on, uh, scuff controllers. And uh, you see more and more people getting them nowadays. And it, I think it's really cool how like... You would you you would talk about a scuff controller like two or three years ago, and people would be like pissed that you were using it because they you know of the advantage. But now it's like becoming normalized. Like Xbox mm -hmm. has like partnered up with Scuff, and like they have their own like version of it now. The Xbox Elite. Or something yeah. Like that. Well, dude, I it's funny because I mean I'm looking at getting a Scuff, obviously you know, and uh, I'm I mean it's just it's gonna be. Not to scuff my actual... I can't even play like Fortnite without the Scuff. Dude. Oh, Fortnite! Well, my it's, controller it's so clutch. is like broken in general, dude. Oh, and I just dropped it again. So yeah, uh, but dude, it's like it's it's so dope, and it's I think what really blew is blowing Scuff up even more is Fortnite, dude. Like I went on the Scuff website, and it like legitimately was like, ha it was explaining how it's yeah. gonna benefit you in Fortnite. It does. Mm -hmm. I mean, you build so much quicker with just oh yeah, that's for sure. I know the so there's the new Vantage Pro. I think is the, like the Xbox version of it, and that has four paddles on the back, which uh, my roommate actually got, and he loves it. The four but, paddles, I feel like, is too much for me. But like at the same time, I thought the two was like when I when you first get the scuff, I felt like a baby, like just being born. Like <laughs> yeah, I didn't know how to use about. it. I was still pressing X, but dude, you have to just like just grind games with it and then like yep. train your brain. Dude, I remember. And, you, and yo, once you train your brain, it is impossible to go back. I go to like my friend Sully's house, dude. I try to play Fortnite on his controller without the scuff. I'm pressing the back of the controller and there's mm -hmm. nothing there, and I yep. feel like. I feel so slow. It's, it's like, all muscle memory at that point. Like I remember when I first got the scuff control, I went into I got it during Black Ops Three, and it was be beneficial as hell to have it in Black Ops Three. But it, it, I remember being in a private lobby, and I was just running around with it, just doing slides and jumps and turning while jumping and trying to run on walls and without pressing either X or Circle. And I, I look like I. Would, like never touched a controller ever in my life when I first started using my scuff because it was just so weird to press something in the back of the controller and now it's just literally second nature to me to just touch it I can't even go back to a regular controller now ever yeah I think it's dope uh like I, I like it like I said that's why I'm planning to get one but I, I'm gonna just get the I'm gonna get the regular PS4 one because 
I don't wanna. I don't know. I just. I was never a huge fan of the Xbox ones. I just thought they were kind of like bigger and more clunky for me. And yeah. I think the PS4 is like solid. I never liked an Xbox controller. Never. But, but uh, yeah, I mean, the impact that it had on COD in general is crazy, dude. I mean, all the pros, obviously. Like, Scuff pretty much sponsors, like, every single pro team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really only used the Scuff for, like, in Fortnite, for just for jumping. But, like, in COD, I used It's so easy just to slide with Circle, dude. Like, you hold it down. You can... But, but, but boots on the ground, it, it, like, it, it's not that much of a impact the scuff is going to make mm-hmm. but except i mean with world war ii i should say it really didn't make that much because like your dive was a dolphin dive and you really you, it's not like you were turning when you were do- dolphin diving in, in world war ii and there's boots mm-hmm. to the ground the only thing you really could do was jump shot like a corner and i mean it, you could do it just as pretty much easy on a regular controller but i mean black ops 3 was really where the scuff made a huge difference with Black Ops 3. Oh, so yeah, dude, those jetpacks, maybe? The jetpacks and everything on the wall run, and you can perform moves with a wall run and a jump that you just physically couldn't do on a regular controller if you didn't have those back pedals. So yeah, I mean, Scuff's just... it's. I'm excited to get it. Obviously, it's going to take a good bit for me to get used to, so that's kind of why I want to... If I get it now, um, I could potentially get it before COD starts. I doubt it. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit after COD gets here, but... Uh, it still would be very nice to use. Plus, pretty much all the pros use it. Yeah. Says, so, uh, have you guys played season six yet? Fortnite. It came out when it came out two days pass, ago. Yes, sir. I have not bought the pass. I don't think I'm buying the pass at all because COD's coming out next week. Puppies, dude. I haven't even seen anything that they um, put out for season six. Like, I don't know what is new. I don't. I didn't look at any of the new like so dances. That is- they added pets, which is cool. It's like a backpack, and like they yeah. added some these invisible cubes. But like, I, like they added stuff, but the, they didn't change the map really, dude. Like they have yeah. obviously like those purple squares and like the. the I mean, Lou Lake is moving around the map, but like that's really that's that's, that's it. it. Like last season was like awesome because they like com- they added like paradise, added all this bunch of stuff at the beginning of last season, and like the map just feels the same. And the worst part is they took a majority of the rifts out. Like they don't oh, have yeah, dude, like greasy anymore. Yeah, they're only in like paradise now. Wow. Now there's like some in uh, the Viking place, I think. So. Yeah, you have the Viking place in paradise, and they took away the greasy ones, and it's just I don't know. They took away the ones in Tomato Temple. I feel like the ga- dude, the games take so long now without the rips. I feel like. Yeah, dude. It, there's so many people. I've noticed these games that I've been playing lately. At usually like last season, it was like that you would like everyone would die right away and then it would be like but like people a lot of people are alive on like these ending circles and stuff yeah i i downloaded it and installed it i just never played it yet i haven't even checked out fortnite yeah i mean it's fortnite the, the, so the vibe just... the vibe that i have like not not the vibe the the will to even play that game anymore for me i have cod on my mind like i can't i can't do anything but play god and if i'm not play, yeah. if, I'm, if i'm on my ps4 like i said before i'm playing spider-man well, it was funny. They did the so the summer skirmish. They split them up into teams, and then today's like they said it was like a cosplay thing, and if whoever wins, like their team gets points or whatever. And uh, Tifu did it because like everyone, Tifu looks exactly like that that uh, no skin player. Mm-hmm. Yes, he and, does. Yeah, dude. So he put a llama. He was on top of like a bridge thing, and he had a llama underneath on the uh, on a surfboard or a boogie board or whatever and he, <laughs> he had an umbrella and dropped down like dressed as a guy i was like i'm coming for you llama it was just funny dude like i think dude it's the creators that are so intriguing in fortnite like dude tifu's the man dude he is, he is so fun He's to so watch good. so good but yeah i mean it's fortnite it'll be interesting to see how much it really takes a hit come cod season especially with blackout which looks absolutely amazing but I'd like to yeah. uh, I'd like to give a nice little shout out to a, a very loyal listener, by the way, and um, we actually gave this listener an opportunity to give us a topic, and he did give us a topic, and we will talk about it after that, after this. But I would like to shout out uh, Manny. Manny, you're out there if you're listening. If he's listening for this far, I want him to text me. <laughs> I want him to text me saying "honey buns," just straight up H O N E Y S space buns. I want him. Wait, no. H O N E Y space buns, dude. I just want. I just want to see if he's actually. Did listening you say? To wait, wait did you say H O N Y? 
H O N E Y, dude, stop doing this. <laughs> You're the oh. one that said honey's bun. <laughs> honey's right, whatever. Bun. Yeah, shout out to Manny. And uh, Manny's topic. Shout out, Manny. Manny's a uh, little background about Manny. Um, real life friend. Met him at my, my first job ever in my life. Uh, friends with Chris as well. He has gamed with us a little bit. He's, I think he's done one game battles with us and never vowed to never do it again because he hated it. Um, JBs. JBs! Um, yeah, that's what he used to say. But, uh... Yeah, he's a, good, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's terrible at football. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he would jack you up. If, like, if you are running at him, he would destroy if, if you. I, if I was running at Manny and went full force into his chest, he would stand there and I would bounce off like a trampoline. <laughs> you would be dead, <laughs> <I> would, <laughs> Manny would be able to punch a hole in, through, like, through me. But uh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. A very long-time friend. But uh, his topic this week is music nowadays and the state it is in. With stupid ass, quote unquote, stupid ass mumble rappers and rappers with face tattoos. And uh, I don't really listen to music nowadays, so I really don't have too much input on it. I mean, the only rapper I know with like face tattoos, I think, was, does, does Post Malone have face tattoos? Is, is that a thing? Yes. Yeah. Does he? I love Post Malone. Post so. Malone's pretty good. He has a few good songs. But, um,. Music Do you don't love the new age rappers? M- music nowadays, I I don't think I like as much as I like back then. Like, I mean, I, like what's back then? Uh, I don't. Uh, I I I I personally like old Eminem or like even up to like recovery album Eminem. Um, See, I like both, but like, dude, the new music, like the new that music that now, is made like, now is just so lit. Like, it's just club music, dude. It, I mean, if it, when it comes to those rappers, though, like the rap nowadays. It's not the same to me. Like I can't, I can't listen to a lot of rap, newer rap. But I was able, to, I'm able to listen and, and enjoy like older rap, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not a. I don't like know. Drake, I mean, I Drake, appreciate... Drake still has some good in fire songs. He I mean, definitely. Drake's my favorite artist. So I'll listen to anything. <laughs> I thought but that like, was the weekend. That's close. It's between Drake and, and I. Weekend. For the record, Jay, Burns knows I, I hate the weekend. There's not one song the weekend has ever put out that nah, I, that I enjoy. Great music. That's because you don't appreciate his true R and B music that he made. His OG like trilogy, dude. <laughs> just turn on trilogy one night and just just vibe. Have a good night to it, man. <laughs> well, I I found I actually found the weekend like way before he blew up so it was like funny because like so nice. i introduced him to my friends and stuff and like i was listening to him way before he like was popular and then everyone like started well that's how i feel about him. that's how i feel about mac miller man i started listening to him like way before the hype like literally like one of his first mixtapes i started listening to mac and he was like my favorite artist he's same with uh sammy adams if you even know who sammy adams is yeah no, i know sammy and adams. i i whew, I start probably started listening to Sammy Adams before he was even like. What about Asher literally. Roth? I, I I listened to him. I told you I played Fortnite with Asher Roth, right? Yeah, you did. You did play Fortnite with Asher Roth. I'm on his I'm on his friends list actually. <laughs> that's that's so dope. Yeah, but, dude. Uh, he he actually uh, me and my boys they they were throwing like this block party in Philly and we were thinking about going down for like the block party but we never ended up going through with it. Yeah. He was cool. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. But, um, where, where was I going with that? I don't know why I brought up. You're just talking about old rap and how you can like old rap, but you uh, don't like this new rap. Yeah, I mean, Mac Miller. First, Mac, first of all, rest in peace, Mac Miller. Um, what always will be one of my favorite artists. But he, Mac Miller, is the reason why I got into rap. Like I, it wasn't even Eminem. Like, I was gonna say you probably used to just listen to like the Red Hot Chili Peppers albums. You always and stuff. say that. How, you just for, like for the listeners, listen it's been that. an ongoing like inside joke. I guess you can say that. It's not a joke. I think you <laughs> still I, listen to them on like Loki. I only and I, I don't have anything against the Red Hot Chili. <laughs> I only seem like the type of guy that listen to. I, I only know two Chili Pepper songs. So, but um, with face tattoos, rappers nowadays, like, what are you doing with yourself? If, like, your rap career doesn't go anywhere, like, where the hell are you going in life? You gonna go on, like, a job interview with a uh, tattoo on your face? Like, are you that stupid? I, I don't understand the concept of a face, it, of a face tattoo. But, like, if they tank, like, why the hell would you tattoo something permanent on your face? Like, if Dude, you... it's not as much, like, 
it's not as big. The thing is, it's not about music anymore. It's about entertainment. So like, it's about how they present themselves on social media is where they get their money. Yeah, dude, like stupid as hell. I don't know. Like Takashi six nine, dude. I actually like his music, <laughs> and I think he is hilarious. He is such a troll, dude. I don't even know like, who he is to be honest with he's, you. He's uh, a rainbow hair. Uh, I'll look him up after the podcast. I don't. I have no he's idea. He's from New York. As soon as he sees him, yeah, oh, he's from yeah, New York. I have to look him up now. He's so funny. You're not gonna find him funny because like, what is it? What's his name? Takashi six nine. Like, you're not gonna find him funny because you already have that mindset of like you hate all these rappers. But like, I used to think he was like annoying, and then I like I watched him. Oh my god, the hilarious. first video of him, his teeth. Oh my god. What? He has a big ass sixty nine tattooed on his forehead. What an yeah. idiot. Like the these are the people I, I, who are dude, making I saw money. This coming, we shouldn't even brought it up in the stream. He's gonna talk about this for the next like half an hour. <laughs> like, nah, dude, like, he's... like, what did I do wrong in life where this fool is big and like exposed gaming isn't? Like, what? Where did we go wrong you, in life that this guy has success? On your face. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Would you tattoo a sixty nine on your face if it meant we got blew up and got a sponsorship? No. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. No. I mean, me and Chris will hold you down while they tattoo your forehead. <laughs> what an idiot. This guy looks retarded. Hey, that's me. He's oh, that is, uh, anyway, that is oh, true. We, we need to move on because like, I can just go on about the stupidity in that man. But, yeah, there's your topic, Manny. If you're continuing to listen, shout out to you. Thank you for uh, getting, forget, get, thank you for getting me frustrated. Chris, <laughs> text Chris Honey's Bun. <laughs> Chris will be waiting. I will be. Honey's fun. But um, uh, now on to like a more. Uh, now on to arguably my favorite topic since we've talked about it. It is October, boys. It is officially holiday season. There is no better three months in the history of the world than October, November, December, man. This is holiday a, season, baby. This is holiday season. We got Halloween. I cannot wait. I'm a huge, first of all, I'm a huge Halloween fan. Like the movies with Michael Myers, I've seen every single one in the series. I am so hyped for the new Halloween movie to come out. I cannot wait to see it. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm more. I like the uh, OG Disney dude and stuff like that. Yeah, Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus, man. Oh my god, dude. Uh, my my date with uh, or yeah, my mom's dating a vampire. Yes. On tonight, dude. Yes. Oh, oh man. Classic. Halloween town. Halloween, town. Halloween town. Oh. Halloween town. Dude, the movies. <sighs> it was a childhood. Like, so best, I mean, I would say there's probably, I would say there is five main holidays in this stretch of holiday season. Right? You got Halloween, mm-hmm. you got Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. you got Christmas. I guess, yeah, you have New Year's is in there, and you have St. Patrick's Day and Easter, I would say, are like the more celebrated of them. I mean, I mean, I think it's, I don't know about you guys, like, it's not even close, dude. Christmas is the greatest my time. favorite yeah. holiday in the world, dude. 100%. And it's not even because of, like, presents, it's just, like, the whole, like, vibe nah, and dude, atmosphere it feels and mood. so dope. Like, if you, I've, I have always wanted to have, like, a white Christmas and just, like, that, that whole, like, family setting where, like, you're warm in your house with, like, a fire going and it's just snowing outside and you got the tree lit up. Dude, we're gonna got, have... Oh, it's so beautiful. It's it's such a great mood and a great vibe. And, and then you realize you have to go back to work tomorrow. Yep, and then, yep, you, you realize you're 25 years old and you don't have off anymore for Christmas. Yeah, Christmas was stupid lit in, like, high school because you had that whole week off. Yeah, it was great. Good, Dude. good caught four times with Christmas with holiday, uh, yeah. winter crash. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, you got, I would say Christmas. I don't really know, like, what my, like, Christmas, there's really honestly no other holiday that, like, I get that excited for than Christmas. I mean, you also have the Christmas movie. You have the, um, the what is it, the Family Channel's, like, uh, 25 Days of Christmas, where they play oh, the Christmas dude, movie. Yeah. Uh, oh, good I'm times. Watching that. See, the thing is, like, for, if I had to pick, like, my next holiday, dude, it, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I, so, college and Halloween was awesome it dude. is it's the because party. like literally it was a like legitimately like five straight days of just everyone dressing up you know you had the sexiest girls dressing up mm-hmm. and like some all this tings, stuff dude, dude, dude <laughs> we had some we had some tings that were just like <laughs> dressed up man and then just dressing like thoughts and shit oh, dude and it's just like a crazy party time 
It is gonna be fun. Like I don't really like. Th- I guess Thanksgiving is dope because you have the Thanksgiving football, and then you have obviously just eating. I love eating. I love yeah, yeah. I love the eating. But you hate turkey, Steve. So you're a different. How breed. do you hate turkey? Dude, I don't. Okay, there's a difference. Okay, I hate the turkey the way our family makes turkey because they they it's just so dry. It, it's so dry. You you. Eat, if Chris, if you went to like Taylor's house for Thanksgiving, it is a completely different ball game with food. Yeah, I feel like her house is a completely different ball game with food altogether, dude. It, she it puts really up snaps is. all the time. It's, it's amazing. Like I'm gonna be <laughs> fat never received in life. an invite, but just... I'm gonna be so fat in life, and I've accepted that already. It's okay. But I I like turkey in every other situation other than Thanksgiving with me and Chris's family. That's wild, dude. I I'm gonna be working on Thanksgiving. That I sucks. did last year. I, dude, you know, it's like, I don't really care that much, though, because, like, I don't have to go until later. I was, like, obviously, I was debating, do I want to work? But, like, my discount and stuff, like, for the rest of the year, like, after that is, like, so easy, dude. And, uh, yeah, I don't Black know. Friday, then, as well? Yeah. Oof. Probably. I mean, I don't know. I haven't, like, 100% figured it out, but, uh, yeah, ideally. But I'm going to the Eagles-Giants game that Sunday, so that'll oh, be a really cool. good – that's going to be a good weekend for me overall, that whole week. That's but, cool. yeah, Thanksgiving's awesome, dude. Halloween's awesome. Yo, St. Patrick's Day is always a great time party-wise. People it just is. get wrecked. It is. I love St. Patrick's Day. And then Easter's not really any. Easter's probably the least special of them. Like, It's not big. It's not really much of a hype anymore. And I think it was more of a hype when you were a kid, you know, looking for Easter eggs and everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I still get a nice Easter basket and stuff, so. I gotta be... I, you gotta be wiped up for, for the holidays, though. I mean... Go Christmas time, man. We're gonna have a nice exposed trip to the city and see the tree. We're gonna have a nice big old picture all together. It's gonna be so much fun, bro. In our ugly exposed Christmas sweaters, which will also be on the gram when we design them for Christmas time. We're gonna design those in November and yeah. have them ready for. Oh, like, I'm, I'm gonna wear them like every week. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing my exposed like ugly sweater, sweater like every Christmas occasion I go to. Like it's just gonna be that. That is my outfit every everywhere. And SantaCon's gonna be stupid lit we, when I throw we, it at my oh, place. Oh, we're gonna be that's going like to SantaCon this year. That's a hundred percent. You guys have to come. Yeah, SantaCon is gonna be sick, dude. Mm-hmm. That's that gonna be a fun such time. a great dude. Every oh, just Christmas music all around, dude. Like the last time I went, it was so much fun, dude. I can't wait. It's just like a vibe, dude. I remember like so they had like they had like everyone's like buying these drinks, right? And I looked on the uh, the website to one of the the. Cause it's just like a giant pub crawl, mm-hmm. but I looked at a, the website for like the um, the menu, dude, and like the pitcher was like cheaper than buying an individual beer. So I literally bought a pitcher of beer, and I was just walking around the bar, <laughs> with, like, literally just drinking the pitcher, dude. It was like wild, man. I was so smacked that night, dude. Like my boys went to uh, the Jets played on that Thursday, or no. Yeah, it was when they, cause yeah, Christmas time you have that Saturday night game, like uh-huh. for two weeks. Yeah, the Jets yeah. were playing, and my boys all went to the Jets game, and like I was supposed to go, I was like, nah, I'm just gonna pass out, man. So like I, I ended up just falling asleep like after we got back, cause I was like crazy drunk, dude. That was such a good time. And it's actually, I actually ended up getting kicked out of the bar. Actually, last week I went to uh, the bar I got kicked out of. <laughs> me and my boys actually went, ended up going to last week, which was funny. Was that the, one of the times where you got uh, pepper sprayed by a cop? No, so the, I got pepper sprayed. I went to the Penn State Ohio State game one, okay. like two years ago when Penn State upset Ohio State. Like we weren't even ranked, I don't think, and then we beat Ohio State. They were ranked number two, and uh, we were downtown, getting stupid excited, man. Like I was with Sparks that night because he went to Penn State, and uh, we just went downtown. Like kids were going crazy, bro, and this girl was like trying to knock down a light pole so this cop like grabbed her by her hair and was like pulling her like to cuff her and we were all we were all screaming like let her go let her go and this dude turns around with like a fire extinguisher and just <laughs> sprayed the pepper spray bro and like i'm not even kidding like it didn't even like directly hit me but it just got it, like it through the air in my eyes bro i was like and i have contacts so i was like oh that must have crying you up. bro he, i got a white sweatshirt and they it turned orange, bro, because of yeah. the pepper spray. I remember you saying that. Yeah, it was a dope sweatshirt. I mean, I, <laughs> honestly, like, I go to a Penn State game every year and get, like, a sweatshirt pretty much every time. So I have, like, 40 Penn State sweatshirts. But that one was pretty dope, dude. And I was so upset when they, like, pepper spray. That, dude, that was such a wild night, too. Uh, but, uh, moving on to week four of the NFL was last week. 
As yeah. I said, Dolphins trash, Patriots division. That was obvious. I, Bro, you want to hear the I, trade of the week that I made? The fantasy? Yeah. L- Bro, ready? Here, here, here. here this trade that I made. Ready? I traded Russell Wilson and Vance McDon- McNaught, whatever the heck this guy's name is on the Steelers. Mc- McDonald's. McDonald's. But, uh, anyway, for Tom Brady and like Kenyon Drake. I don't care about Kenyon Drake. I just got Tom Brady out of Russell Wilson, dude. Damn. I uh I was thinking so we're a keeper league and my the one guy in my league gets he got drafted Kamara last year like a fifteenth pick, so we kept him this year as a thirteenth rounder. And like his team's really good. I was honestly like I'm I if I keep losing and I'm out of playoffs, I might throw like a crazy package to him just to try and get Kamara to like keep for the next year. Like give him like Rogers, uh freaking and like Odell for like Kamara or something. But we don't really do too many trades in my league. I don't blame you. I mean, I wouldn't want... If I knew next year I was going to have Kamara in the 13th round because I get to keep him, why the hell would I trade you Kamara? Yeah, exactly. that's what I'm saying, like, obviously. But, I mean, if you have a chance to, like, win, I yeah. mean, it's... I don't know. I mean, yeah, obviously. I don't I don't think he would take it, and I wouldn't take it if I was him either. I just thought it'd be funny to kind of blow it up. I'm mad. I made one trade the one year, and it was, like, when Dez was injured. I traded to Alan Hearns because Alan Hearns was like playing really well. So this was like three years ago, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna go into playoffs and have Dez, and then Dez sucked." <laughs> so we'll see how my team goes, but it's not looking too well. Yeah, is it I'm time th- to drop Dez Bryant, dude? I'm three and one in one league. And is that what? The other. I still have Dez Bryant. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. So my fantasy team lost, and my freaking Eagles lost too. Which was, dude, that was yeah, so Eagles are bad. garbo, dude. Okay, I don't say garbage. They're not the Jets. But dude, the <laughs> Titans definitely surprised me. Dude, I I've been saying the Titans are a good team. Like, I know the Titans are good. It's just we shouldn't have blew that game. Wentz like still he, does not look like Wentz. Like he Wentz did like, last dude, year. He looked, he looked good. I mean, he's still easy Wentz into needs it. to start throwing it to Aguilar a lot more. Mainly <laughs> well, we got Jeffrey him, back, but, so. Yeah, I, I miss having Jeffrey, man. Jeffrey was, was a, a Jeffrey was like a solid thirteen plus points every single week for me last year. And you know who you got me rooting? For? I got I'm rooting for this year, dude. The freaking Browns, dude. They're dude. The Brown they forty two to forty two with the Raiders, and he went to overtime. It's unfortunate that like <clears throat> the, the Browns lost, but dude, that was such a great game. If you guys even watch it, I know Chris didn't, but. Well, you didn't either. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. I didn't. I uh, saw, I saw a bunch of highlights, so I don't know why I'm saying. I shit. I actually <laughs> watched, I watched the actual game, but uh, you know it's whatever. Yeah, and then you got uh, I mean the next thing, dude, Mahomes looking solid, bro. Definitely, he's um, you. I don't know if you guys saw the left-handed throw that he did. He yeah. was over the line of scrimmage. You think? I, don't know, I saw a picture. I don't know how accurate it was, but he was like way over it, like clearly over it. But the I mean, the athleticism for him to be able to switch hands mid run while getting chased by I think, was, I, think was, I think it was Miller, and just to yeah. toss it with his opposite hand. It, the guy's the real deal. Yeah, it's, except you have Andy Reid, who always has good regular season teams, and then just blows it in the playoffs. You know who's the uh, real I think, deal, I think dude? the Chiefs are gonna. Go somewhere. Nah, they're year. not gonna beat the Patriots. Yeah, you know who's the real deal? Ryan Fitzpatrick, dude. <laughs> real as they come. Dude Bro, was what a wash, dude. Guys, yeah, I'd be I felt so mad if so I played fast. him. I right, listen. I if you if you actually thought that Fitzpatrick was gonna do what nah, he was but doing I didn't think all... he was gonna do that bad. He was oh a crazy call off. Absolutely, it's he's showing his true colors finally. He got lucky for the first three weeks. Knocked me out of the. I wouldn't say you get suicide. lucky throwing for three straight four hundred yard games, but I know what you're saying. I mean, his it, it's not in him to be a, a good quarterback. I mean, look look at his track record. He's he's not very good. Yeah, I mean that's why he's a journey man. He's a good guy to have on your team. But but if I do say so, I think he's better than Winston. I don't think Winston's good at all. Nah, I think Winston's I think Winston's gonna be good, dude. And that receiving core in the box is solid. I mean, Deshaun Jackson's having a nice year so far. And you have uh, I know, definitely dude, a top 10 receiver a lot of in Evans. Uh, yeah. I hope the freaking Jets beat Denver this week, dude. Yeah, nah, I'm just excited to see At this point, I'm well, hoping Le'Veon's... we just lose every game just to get the number one draft. It's not back. over yet, dude. You see Le'Veon's going to, uh, or coming back week seven. So he come, he's coming back from the bye. 
because he's going to get paid. So he won't have to practice or play for that bye week, but get paid. And then he's smart guy. Everyone's like, they're probably, he's probably going to like pretend he's injured or something, which I don't blame him after that whole Earl Thomas thing. That's the whole reason he's doing it. Like his teammates were just uh, shitting on him. Yeah. They're still saying the Eagles have a chance to pick him up, dude. Uh, I, I'm still like praying because like, yeah, he's, so he's, he is still he he has admitted and said many times in his career that he is a huge Jets fan. Dude, the Jets even even made like a trade offer towards him, but like I guess it wasn't enough money because he's asking, apparently he's asking for a ridiculous amount. He's the, the best. He's right. the best I don't think I don't league, think it's so. I don't think it's the amount that seems to be the issue. It's the guaranteed money that everyone has the issue with. Like the Steelers offered him close to like fifteen mil a year, but like no guaranteed money. Whatever, we'll see. At this Which, point, though, I mean, I understand the why he's stupid, holding dude. out. They should have just given him his money, and they would have been fine. Like, yeah. you can clearly see how lackluster their freaking rushing is. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's what's his face is doing? He's doing Connor. decent, yeah. Connor's I mean, they're like doing... tw- like over twentieth in rushing, dude. Their rushing offense is trash. But he's still being kind of still able to uh, is still producing somewhat. I mean, yeah, because uh, but he's not a receiver. He's not going like, to he's not gonna be Bell. Yeah, I mean Bell changes your entire. That's why I said if the Bell went to the Jets, as bad as I think Darnold Darnold is still. I mean, it'll help I, Darnold I, so much more. Exactly, it's going to take a lot of pressure off of him. And but I then think, who do you who do you start out of Bell and Crowell? <laughs> dude, you gotta say, yo, Crowell's done, dude. Yeah, after last week, he yo he produced nothing, and he got got hit for a safety like. And after the whole fine with wiping his ass on the football, <laughs> I'm Did pretty you see sure he just take... got sponsored by like a toilet paper company. Yeah, that shit was wild, dude. That's a good PR team right there. But uh, and he got fined like fourteen thousand for it. Yeah, people are a bunch of bitches, man. Yeah, it was, I mean, it's... it was he. He literally did it because he was a brown. Yeah, and, and they, he, he was just giving yeah. like a big fu back to the fan. Base. It just sucks that we lost that game now. <sighs> But, yeah, I have one last question to end this cast on, boys. We were talking about holiday time. Mm-hmm. Favorite Christmas movie of all time? I already know mine, with a arguably number two. Favorite Christmas uh, movie of all Elf. time? I, really... I was going to say, dude, I think Rudolph is my all-time favorite, but Elf is up there, dude. Elf is yeah, a Elf classic. Elf is funny. It's still fun to watch, dude. I, I, I think my favorite Christmas movie, like, no one is even going to know. I my one of my favorite Christmas movies ever is a year is without a, a year without a Santa Claus. It's like that nineteen like sixty nineteen seventy. It's um you ever uh the the heat miser and the uh no, the snow miser. About. It's it's like that like puppet. It looks like puppets. It's it looks like the same kind of production of like Rudolph. Yeah, <laughs> let's say Rudolph again. Rudolph. <laughs> Why do you pronounce the L so hard? I don't know. Rudolph. 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 <laughs> but uh, that, that, that's, nah, I think, my favorite, my, think my favorite oh, Christmas dude. movie. Is you know what? Easy top three, too. The freaking Grinch, dude. Dude, the uh, easily classic. Oh, my God, dude. I cannot dude, wait Frosty for Frosty the time. Snowman was a classic. Oh, there's so many good Christmas movies, dude. I cannot wait to just throw them on, go out, make myself a nice hot cocoa. And Maybe get a couple, fish. get some ca- ca- some candy kinds, and yeah, dude, just enjoy them. Um, oh, anyway, for Halloween, Halloween's so much fun. Oh, yeah, Halloween's gonna be fun. Too. Do you, uh, you and Sam have a uh, a costume yet? Uh, no. All right. You, you if you want, if you guys want, you can go as the. Uh, there's a graham cracker, marshmallow, and a chocolate candy bar. I'll go as it with you guys if you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Uh... Mr. Poopy Butthole, and I need no, no. I'm trying to go uh, noob noob, and I need someone to be wow. I need someone to be Mr. Poopy B. That's your girl, right? Ask her. Bro, so, have you guys not seen Rick and Morty? I'm not nah, big. I'm I've not, seen it. Not, I'm just not a big Rick and Morty what? fan. I never watched yeah, a Rick and Morty. Is Steve. I know. I get that a lot. I've never seen an actual episode. I've always, I mean, I've, I've always I've intended on it, but I know who they are. But Steve, you got it, dude. The episodes are like not even long at all. Now I'll, I'll eventually one day. I need a show with a plot, it. like a, a deep plot. But. Yeah, that's upsetting. Plus, I'm not a huge cartoon guy, honestly. Neither yeah. am I, dude, but that show is so good. But, uh... That's the only cartoon I actually watched. Other than, I mean, like... 
Yo, what's up? Before the podcast even got, me and Sam were just, like, laying in my bed. I was just putting on theme songs, like, old shows. Like, do you remember that show Mighty B? Like, that girl? Like, that, uh... No. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, you do, right, friends? Yeah, she, she is, like, a, she was, like, the redhead bitch, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the no. girl scout with the lisp. <laughs> Dude, they made some weird ass shows back in the Bro, day. Bro, that. Dude. Wait, hold on. Let me just go to my search history because I was looking up some good stuff. Actually, I don't know if we have time for that. But, dude, it was like. Classic theme songs. Like, My Life. Danny Phantom, My Life as a Teenage Robot. Like, I am the Box Ghost! <laughs> Uh, oh, dude, I was actually talking to I was, I was talking to someone about like, oh, all right, we got we got two more minutes left. I was actually talking to someone about uh, like OG, like what's your favorite old cartoon, dude? And I was like Rugrats, I think. Well, mine was uh, dude Wild Thornberries was like high I, up. I was not a huge I was fan. Not a fan of that at all. Dude, Rock, I I, favorite, I fucked with Rocket on. Power. I don't know. It was a big Rocket. Uh. I mean, Rocket Power. If it was on, I watched it. Big SpongeBob guy. Oh, Dude, SpongeBob! I'm, 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 I'm SpongeBob hands down, yeah. So like, I was like, I love SpongeBob. I just, I wasn't like, I don't know. I don't want to say I wasn't a huge fan because like I did love SpongeBob, but like. Listen, an- an- another day, shout dude. out to Manny. Me and Manny could straight up like recite all of SpongeBob lines. Dude, in no, like episode. I SpongeBob. Dude, like, I, know, <laughs> I know all of SpongeBob, but like I don't know. If like SpongeBob was on, I'd I'd probably I don't know. I guess it depends the episode. Dude, I was watching SpongeBob the other at the bowling alley. Dude, it was just funny. It was like the salty spittoon one, or the what's it? The Weenie Hut Gen- That show was like low key oh, funny. That's, that's, that show was great. I watch it every single morning when I wake oh, up. Oh, but do you guys remember uh, As Told by Ginger? Yes. That, that one, uh, Foster's dude, House. Hey, hey Arnold, dude. Yeah, dude, Hey man. Arnold was it. Dude, I was a huge, huge Ed Ed. I was like, Ed Ed Nettie was like yes. my favorite Cartoon Network show. Big Dexter guy. Big, Big Dexter, Dexter Courage the Cowardly Dog, Johnny uh, Bravo, dude, Cow and Chicken! So scary back in the not, day, not a big Cow and Chicken guy, but what? Courage... What?! Dude, Courage... <sighs> dude, Courage was like the number one for Dude, me Courage time. used to scare me sometimes as a kid. Yo, yeah, like, when, I was, when, I was, when I was a this. young kid, I feel... I, some of those episodes like scared the shit out of me as Courage. Dude, guy. it was that one episode where the guy was outside the house and he would make a tornado... It was just a floating stick. Like I don't even know what it was. Man, you it know scared the about? shit out of me. No, I Yo, think I do know what you're talking next about. Next podcast, we're gonna is we're gonna get a separate segment for just TV, old, old old TV. TV and movies. This is the next podcast with COD. Got it. I, one last, one last one, one last one, dude. Ned's declassified. Bro. Yes. That wasn't even a cartoon. Uh, that was just I know, a good I know, show I know. to watch. I was just thinking about like OG shows I used to watch. Dude, dude. Amanda show with what's it called? Totally oh Kyle. Oh, yeah, we, we, totally we, we, dude, we got we got to stop because we, we yeah, we're gonna go in right, for yeah, next yeah. week. Let's, let's end it. Oh, end this it right is here. Be fun next week. Next dude. week's gonna be good. So a little little preview for next. We're week. gonna so think about it. Get your get your thoughts together for next week. We're gonna yep. do top five old cartoons and top five old oh, like OG TV shows. So like Drake and Josh, Ned's Declassified, like. Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Zoe oh. 101. Oh my gosh, oh my she was God, so yeah. hot, dude. Back <laughs> when I was like 12. Oh, this is gonna be a good. This is gonna be a good. All right, yeah, that's week. gonna be lit. So everyone, get excited. Yeah. Uh, do us a favor, whoever's listening, list off your favorite cartoon. Yeah, favorite cartoon. And, uh, Chris, what's the word of the week? Um, Swamp Monster. All right. All right. Swamp. Whoever gets that, if someone writes that, you are invited. To a game battles match with Exposed Gaming. That's I like. Ooh, that's nice. That's that's like royalty right there. You'd yeah, be, dude. you'd be playing with a team who has beat Optic Gaming. Remember that. But uh, nice. so yeah. All right, boys, dude. It was a great podcast today once again, fellas. Yeah. Uh, next Wednesday. Yeah, can't wait. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow us on all social media. There, it's in the links down below in the uh. And a quick side note, potentially next week may be our first live Twitch stream of it. Yes. And yeah, so that could be a possibility. Dude. We're, we're working on that to get that set up. So it's going to be like live with our faces on it with the webcam. Instead of just the, the microphone picture you guys are looking at, it'll be uh, it'll be our actual faces. It'll be like a live thing. So it'll be cool. So, all right, everyone have a good night. I'm excited for next week, and uh, take care. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We, we always do this every time. Tomorrow, Patriots or Jets. Or Patriots or Colts. Patriots, Patriots. I'm going.
Yeah, Patriots. Okay, just we always do the, the Thursday night game yeah, on the podcast, pa- so we Patriots. had to get that in. I don't think we've ever done the Thursday night game on a podcast, so I think this is the first time. No, we've doing. always talked. We specifically, I remember we specifically talked about it last week. I don't remember. And we that, talked about it before. It was due. It was, a, it was the Jets Browns the last time we did it, but that's. Uh, well, so it was last week. It was two weeks ago. No, it, we did it last week because I, I remember I brought up the Rams Vikings. I said I was. Yeah, we've done it pretty much every week. All right. So, but, uh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, no, Patriots, 100%. But All right. Until Everyone next time, guys, care. peace out. See you. Peace.